So on yesterday's video, I have brought up how Rockstar has made claimable salvage yard vehicles more disappointing as of this week, unfortunately. You can check the details on yesterday's video if you wish to check the link, I will put in the description. But on today's topic, I will be talking about how Rockstar is scheduling for some players a one-to-one -one discussion about their online experiences. Before I get into that, I would quickly like to thank my community for voting on my recent community poll about videos like these, whether I should put them all into one video or separate them and upload all these videos on one day or upload them once a day, in which, of course, the third option was, of course, the winner. So thank you for the community votes. My channel will very much be nothing without you. And on second note, I would like to bring up that for those who have claimed eligibility last two weeks up until March 18th can now claim this vehicle if you are eligible as of this week up until April 3rd from March 21st. And now, as of today's topic, let's get the show on the road. Rockstar is scheduling one-to-one -one discussions with some players about their online experiences. And what this could mean? Well, I'll explain to you the details about what is going on. So following my GTL and weekly updated news videos, which you can check out if you wish that I upload every Thursday evening. So as of recently, it was brought up on Tez 2's Twitter where, of course, Rockstar is scheduling one-to-one -one discussions with selected players, selected players, mind you, to talk about their GTA Online experience. From what I could understand, usually Tez would say which platform it applies to which players, but it seems as though there was no specified platform, so I'm pretty much assuming those who have already linked some form of their email account to Rockstar Games or Social Club or whatnot could already see or start seeing like emails such as this one right here that was shared by Tez2 with the link towards Reedit, which here's where the link leads you to if you ever search up on Tez2's Twitter. And mind you, this note was brought up by Tez on March 20th, 2024, which was just three days ago. But this is generally the email that players could be getting every like whenever Rockstar, whoever Rockstar chooses to send an email to. So it could generally revolve around a email where Rockstar has states that as part of our ongoing commitment to improving the player experience, <laughs> quite bullshit, but anyways, we are looking to schedule a limited number of one-to-one -one discussions with selected players to talk about their GTA Online experience. Why don't you ask all players if they really care about the game or how about you just ask if someone says do you really care about the game and just send every single one of them emails say do you care about the game or do you care about something or something and then they could still be eligible why do you have to select select players anyways you've been identified as a potential candidate for these discussions oh wow so they're probably identifying griefers of gtl line who are just trying to find ways to grief more players so that these players will be like screw this i can't grind in this game anymore i have to go for shark cards anyways those Final discussions will take about an hour each and will be conducted remotely. Upon completion of each discussion, participants will be bribed with $2 million to use in GTA Online. Yeah, that's how it should have been written. If you're interested in participating, please click the link below to complete a brief survey that will ask you a few questions and offer additional information. You will receive a gift of 250 k for completing the survey. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, Rockstar Games. Now, like I would like to state, as I have stated earlier, it is only going to be sent to select players, not everyone. So when I was looking at even the comments under Tez 2's post about this topic, there have even been some concerns that some people will feel like Rockstar will neglect those who care about the game and will only really ask those who really don't care about the game other than just grinding or actually not grinding griefing players cargo being a griefer modding in the game and people are quite concerned that it might be asking the wrong kind of people which of course if rockstar wants to do that whatever floats their boat but that's generally all that i really want to show you now based on my opinion on this i'm quite glad in a way that rockstar is finally for the first time in like how long that they actually care about player feedback other than their fake feedback page on their actual website that they don't even look at because they just don't they really don't care about the players unfortunately but whatever if upcoming gta 6 updates are coming and they're probably going to make a like hint at oh yeah we're releasing an online mode thanks to the player feedback or community or high request if they even care about the players to begin with but one thing's for sure if i ever got an email like this and i was 
ever asked to, you know, be scheduled a one-to-one -one discussion at some point in time. I don't care about making $2 million for completing a discussion or making 250 k Literally, I can make $2 million in two weeks from selling nightclub goods in a public session that was miraculously lucky enough to not have any grievers in there. But beyond that, though. There are some things that I definitely have major concerns about in GTA Online as of recently when playing the game. First of all, the modding situation, but of course, the moment Rockstar stops selling their source codes to mod developers like Stand or 2Take1, then maybe Rockstar will finally be able to release the million dollar anti-cheat source code that will just completely annihilate anyone who tries to even enter GTA Online with an extra modded file that is not Rockstar verified. Which is already a huge improvement, but whatever. Rockstar would much rather suspend other accounts in the hopes that there are people who are like, but I just got falsely suspended and now I have to buy a new game, which in the end makes Rockstar money. So, modding situation, biggest problem at, in, in all on PC. The second problem that I have, which might be minor to most players, but still bothers me, who tries to be helpful to everyone I come across, is the social club friends list being limited to 250 friends. You can have an unlimited amount of friend requests, but you can only actually accept and be friends mutually with up to 250 players on social club, and I feel like that limits compared to hundreds of thousands of accounts that are playing on a weekly basis on GT online it feels like it feels like you can only have a limited amount of friends who at some point in time may even stop playing GT and you'll never know so you'll have like 250 friends in total like I right now have in which only like four of them are actually online <laughs> Which is quite unfortunate. I don't want to unfriend them. I've already gone through the difficult part of having them accept my friend request or having them add me so I can accept their friend request. And of course, players who just grief in GTA Online just to make $2,000 off of $700k worth of cargo, I mean, obviously it's not going to bother them, but for those who actually genuinely care about making friends in this game, I feel like that limit should be increased to even like a thousand. I'd be happy because I've already had to. I've already reached my limit as of the KO Perico heist, maybe even a Diamond Casino heist when it first released in GTA Online to 250. And since then, I've already had to unfriend about 60, maybe 65, 70 players. Since then, mind you, I don't play GTA Online every single day because I, f of course, find pastures new to, to have fun and enjoy and actually spend my time worthy on. Um... But if I already had to unfriend like 70 players to then make room for 70 more players, and as of now, I still reach the cap of 250 max players on my friends list. And I hope Rockstar changes it that soon. And now for my third suggestion, which is pretty big, considering that, of course, it may definitely make the car support, the, um, the car fanatics of GTA Online much happy for me to suggest this. And it will definitely go against Rockstar's shark card policy or microtransaction policy that they tried doing with these removed vehicles from removed vehicle websites. Um, I would hope Rockstar brings back these 200 vehicles that they wrongfully took from us. I mean, sure, they took away 200 vehicles from in-game websites that are still available if you have them. But I, kind of, I find that kind of a bullshit move for Rockstar to do because in the end, I've already realized that the point that Rockstar took to remove 180, 190 plus vehicles from in-game websites was so that every month they could feature one of these vehicles under GTA Plus subscription that you can get for free. And on top of that, every weekly rotation, there are some vehicles that Rockstar chooses that are not available from in-game websites and features them in the Sibion's dealership or luxury autos showroom. So I already know some may comment on this and say Rockstar is never going to fix it because they know what they're doing. Yeah, I understand. They're just trying to make money off of you wallets. They're literally calling you guys wallets. They're not calling you guys players or customers. They're calling you guys wallets at this point. And to do something like that is quite infuriating and quite frustrating. It was the most BS thing they've even stated on their newswire when they've stated we're going to quote unquote streamline the browsing experience. What streamlining really is, is to make it easier to search so that you don't spend long time searching. It's like making it more organized for us players, as I'd like to say, that Rockstar definitely doesn't care about, besides calling us wallets, that if you have like a form of a 
a filter or if you know what the vehicle's name is called or whatnot, you can search it directly into the filter or filter out the vehicle. Say it's a two-door vehicle, it can be modified with this or that, whatnot. Sure, go right ahead and you'll be able to find a vehicle just like that. You don't have to spend an extra five minutes searching for it on whatever website's available on. But of course, like I said before, and I'll say it again, it's something that definitely will now go against Rockstar's microtransaction policy that they have somewhere hidden in their safe of the Rockstar HQ, and for sure will never revert from this decision again. And I find that disappointing. So there are some three options that I have for you guys. If you guys have any other options that you would like to suggest under the comments below, go right ahead. I will most probably agree with you, but we will see what happens. Though if you understand where I'm coming from, of course, if you're that kind of player who wants to make friends on GTA, I would definitely like to see much more of a friends limit cap increase from 250 to even 1000 I'd be happy with. And of course, get rid of the modding situation, which will probably not happen anytime soon, because Rockstar keeps, you know, making money off of selling their source codes to mod developers like Standard 2 Take 1. And well, yeah. Bring back the 180 plus vehicles that you took from us, Rockstar. That's all the options that I really have. So if Rockstar ever contacted me with such an email like I have already shown you right here or whatever through Reddit, that's probably the main three things I would talk about beyond anything else. If I ever do get an email and you guys have any suggestions, please do let me know and I'll try my best to remember them and bring it up to Rockstar. But one thing's for sure. It's only going to happen for select players, and I hope Rockstar doesn't choose the wrong kind of players. Because the wrong kind of players could suggest to improve the Oppressor Mark II as it used to be back in the good old days of griefing times, or make the tank more, you know, invulnerable to being, you know, anti-combated from people who are trying to grind the game or something that's just going to ruin the overall player experience for those who wants to have fun in the game who knows what could happen i'm just suggesting i'm just pointing at left and right it may not happen but we'll see anyways that's all i wanted to really bring up in this video entirely hope you guys found this informative or interesting but yes if you ever do get an email you know, it would be a good idea to suggest to them some things that can make the game better. And if I ever do get an email, I may even use some of your suggestions that you put in the comments below and bring up to Rockstar. And that's only if I get an email from them. So yeah, that's another news topic from my weekly update and news video that I upload Thursday evening. Again, if you wish to check those out, go right ahead. I inform you of everything new in GTA Online's new weekly update content in the first part of the video. Or I even go through the news topics of the past week's GTA related news for the second part of those videos. Those videos uploaded Thursday evening. If you want to check them out, go right ahead. I try to inform you as of everything or anything you may need or want to know. And of course, as a final note, if you want to check me out on Twitch, I will put my Twitch link in the description below. I don't stream often, but when I do, you know where to find me. Live, of course. So that's all I wanted to bring up. And of course, if you've stayed tuned to this very part of the video, thank you for watching. And that's all I want to say. So if you get the email, go right ahead do whatever you must but if i get the email i'll try to use some of your suggestions that you bring down in the comments below and that's if i get an email and that's if i get an email because i've checked just now which was just three days after it was brought up by tes2 on twitter and i still haven't got anything you know in resemblance to whatever this email could be so if i do get an email good for me that's mainly the three things i like to bring up but if you guys, again, have any suggestions, mention down in the comments. And I like to repeat that just so I can ensure that I have some trust and, you know, form of connection with my audience. And I want to reassure that to myself as well, because I have very short-term memory loss sometimes. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching. And yeah, good luck with those surveys and discussions. And I wish you all the best. And thank you, Rockstar, if you actually care about your player base for the first time in 10 plus years. Thank you for finally making a discussion with your player base. Yeah, that's all I want to say. Thank you.